Hi, good evening and welcome guys to a Saturday night out, a Saturday evening out with Camilla and I. And uh, first of all, we have to make sure we're ready for any eventuality. So uh, let's quickly get Camilla dressed, which uh, always means with a 600mm ready for action, you've got to put the lens hood on. So uh, yeah we put the lens hood on and another strange feature about this evening's night out is we're up a private road so what we're going to do is plug the seat belt in behind us oh. saves those annoying bleeps later and the other thing we're going to do is put down both front windows so we can shoot straight out the window because you just never know what's going to turn up on Camilla and I so uh, yeah every boy scout be prepared well that's amazing guys already had a hare a deer and a corn bunting never had a corn bunting so close and uh, we haven't even parked up and arrived yet absolutely amazing car we've arrived at our saturday night hot spot camilla and i and uh, yeah just the way we like it deserted so yes this is how camilla and i like to spend our saturday evenings a perfect night out. so yeah a perfect spot for a saturday night out with camilla so we'll just get set up a minute and uh, yeah, see how we go. Yeah, so we're getting the big legs out tonight and um, we're going to have them at about eye level. So uh, yeah, come down about there. Just about level. And tonight we've got the gimbal head on just for a change because we're going for we're not doing video tonight with this we're going for the shot so uh, yeah the Siru PH30 I think it is gimbal head camera choice set to one on the gimbal because we've pre notched it we know where it is so the camera choice the uh, Sony A1 of course with the uh, 600 millimeter f4 uh, would we use anything else at the moment? Probably not, because we're going for that women, winning shot. So yeah, Camillo's wearing the full Moss camo from Outdoor Gear Supplies, and uh, we're using a Peak Design strap, which I think will take off for now, because that might get in the way. Okay. And to uh, complete Camilla's ensemble tonight, we are going for the bag hide so uh, yeah she's going fully dressed tonight it's a real night out we're going for the full bag hide because I've been up a couple of times recently and um, I haven't bothered with the bag hide and um, I haven't been that successful so uh, yeah what a good looking Camilla is that so uh, yeah, we're going full on tonight. Camilla will go to the ball. So, all dressed up and nowhere to go. Um, well, we'll see. Here we are on Salisbury Plain. And, um, of course, we're always interested in the barn owl. And uh, advanced beginner, it's always a good idea to set out with a goal in mind. I mean already this evening we've been lucky with a hare shot from the car and uh, a deer shot from the car interesting deer as well i can't remember which one it is anyway one of our five deers and um corn bunting closest i've ever got with the 600 millimeter to a corn bunting so uh, yeah linked to a bit of corn bunting footage and a couple of snaps on top of the most unattractive concrete post ever but still 
the closest I've ever got to a corn bunting but they are quite friendly so uh, I think I've just been unlucky in the past <laughs> but this one is a full frame image through the 600 millimeter Ooh, and I won't be any cropping the vision for this evening got sidetracked there because we've already got a couple of shots in the bag oh that's what we like um, the vision for this evening is of a barn owl and um, it's a bit gloomy this evening the forecast was a bit gloomy so what we're looking to do is a bit more artistic interpretation of a barn owl if one turns up let me know if it turns up behind me because uh, they come from both directions here um, so the vision for tonight is to get a barn owl obviously in flight or ooh, on a nice post ooh, would be nice if it turned on that post over there but that would be really lucky um, but no we want it in flight and uh, we want some intentional movement in the wings because we're not going to get the light this evening so we're going to come right down on the shutter speed to ooh, 1 60th 1 1 25th of a second shooting wide open at f4 letting the maximum amount of light in and then um, we'll operate on auto iso probably um, because they do hunt low and they do hunt high in the sky sometimes so i'd hate to miss a shot through having the wrong exposure for the sky because there's there's still at least a couple of stops difference between the sky and the um the ground so uh, anyway yeah that's the vision for tonight let's see if we can get anything at all um, but I'm already pleased it, we Camilla and I have been lucky already tonight so uh, yeah do I feel lucky tonight too right I feel lucky tonight oh tonight could be the night Saturday night okay so I could hide under this bag hide now and that would be a great idea but for one direction only because this barn owl could turn up from that side or from down there so uh, yeah or it could not turn up at all so uh, we're not plonking ourselves straight under the bag hide but if one does turn up oh, We'll be under it like a shot because um, I want to stay hidden. So I, uh, I got it the other night, but it, it saw me and um, cleared off. So we are using the bag hide tonight, which is a bit unusual because I usually just stay flush with the car. But um, anyway, we're going for that winning shot. We want to win the British Wildlife Photographic Awards this year. And uh, ooh, we've got our work cut out on Camilla and I yeah so as usual on the Camilla and I it doesn't matter what equipment you have even if you've got the best combination in the world um, there's still no guarantee you're gonna get that shot that winning shot you have to be out there that's why Saturday nights mm, we don't spend it down the pub usually um, no, we don't do pubs on Camilla and I. Um, we don't do alcohol on Camilla and I. In fact, we don't do drugs at all. But um, what a boring life we lead. Well, no, we don't, because we invest an awful lot of time in nature and uh, getting the winning shot. So uh, there's no guarantees, as with anything in life, there's no guarantees. But if you're not out there, you ain't going to get the shot. So Camilla and I are out tonight and uh, yeah, we'll just see if that barn owl turns up. Ooh, would be nice. Okay, well we're into the uh, third element that uh, comes into play in situations like this. It's sheer luck whether you're in the right place at the right time. Um, doesn't matter how long you've planned it, this, that and the other. Sometimes it is just down to sheer luck. So, fingers crossed, Camilla and I 
have a good Saturday night. So it's about half an hour till sunset now and no sign of the barn owl yet. So, uh, and no sign of those deer either. They went off somewhere else. Anyway, shh. Well, it's so nice not being hunched up over things. Nice to actually be able to stand up tall. Because uh, I'm not that tall. But, um, yeah, the uh, barn owl hunts, or glides round, can be between three foot and uh, ten foot off the ground sometimes. So, uh, yeah, it can be an ideal height for sort of um, standing up shots. So, yeah, it's one of the few subjects on Camilla and I where we actually get to stand up. Oh, let's just hope we're not stood up tonight. Oh, yeah, quick update. The uh, deer I spotted earlier was a munchjack. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if you can make that out on the screen. But... Um, yeah, it was a munch jack, I believe. So, uh, yeah, walked across. Nice. Anyway, still waiting for the barn owl here, so. Uh, whew. Whew. 15 minutes to sunset. Ooh. Well, I must admit, folks, I'm starting to think. Camilla and I have been stood up and uh, Cinderella is not coming to the ball. Ooh, that's wildlife for you. But um, of course, I'll tell all my mates we had a great time. And, uh, well, as I tell my son, you can't win them all, folks. So uh, that's wildlife for you. And uh, yeah. It's going to be pitch dark soon, so uh, I'll better say goodbye. But uh, you do forget it is a night owl. And uh, yeah, if it's had a good feed the night before, it doesn't have to come out before sunset. And of course, one thing we can't do with a barn owl is track it down and uh, find its nest because it is a protected bird and uh, we're not going to bother it on the nest at all at this time of year that's for certain that's why we stick to the main tracks and the main paths just to uh, put in a, uh, a verbal warning on Camilla and I it's an endangered species it's been in decline for quite a few years now its habitats have um, largely been eroded the uh, places where it uh, hunts the uh, mice and uh, little voles that it particularly likes are getting less and less these days. Um, that's why Salisbury Plain, wide open area, is one of the more hot spots um, because it's still home to this sort of habitat. Anyway, yeah, no sign at all of the bar now. So, uh, yeah, Camilla and I are packing up and going home. Well, thanks for watching an episode of Camilla and I, a bit different, uh, a fruitless hunt for the barn owl. It's not that often we're uh, unsuccessful on Camilla and I. Lucky we had that 10 minute spell earlier and got a few photos in the bag. Otherwise, it would be a pretty fruitless trip. But, uh, yeah, it's practically, ooh, yeah, it's bedtime now really, so... Uh, yeah, we're going back to base, only half an hour away, so we can be come back another day. Bye for now. Have a good one.